Hi there, I hope that you're well. So today we are talking about our point number five, about the eight tips on the best places to sell art online. And as my tip number five, I wanted to say that you have to choose one social media channel to sell your artworks, at least to get started. Because so that's something. So I will always actually, the reason I want you to just choose one social media platform to start with is that one social media platform is enough to give you so many opportunities to find your art collectors, talk to them, and sell to them. So you could be thinking right now, we are great. I'm going to turn off my computer and just get back in the studio. Well, yes and no. I am I'm always an advocate of creating more time and enjoying your life and doing whatever you want to be doing and doing it every day as well, being in the studio every day. So one of the reasons I'm writing that you shouldn't be on so many social media platforms is that so you can focus on being efficient and do efficient tasks and stop wasting time trying to handle various social media platforms at once. When one isn't might not be working properly already, you might actually need to focus on that first one. At the same time, being on that one platform isn't necessarily going to reduce your to-do list if you know what you have to do in order to sell your artworks. Because there is so much that you can make happen on just one of those platforms. There are actually millions of people using each of them. If the reason you are on so many social media platforms is that you are worried about missing some of those people, you're just not going to miss them. There are, again, millions of people on each of those platforms. There are way more people on each platform that you, can, uh, that you actually need to buy your artworks, that you can actually talk to uh, physically during your day. I just wrote this in, I, in the above paragraph, if you're on my website, and I just talked about it in my previous video. But so, so the reason it's going to take you time is that we were talking about private messages. So you do need to be bringing people to your private messages and that takes time. And the way you're going to be able to create a boundary between you and between you spending time on social media and you being in the studio is just you limiting your time really and deciding okay i'm going to spend that much time selling and i'm going to stop i'll leave some for tomorrow and i'm going to go into the studio because on each social media platform you have already so many opportunities you don't need to be on two you can be on two once you have nailed the first one so get on one, become comfortable at using it, find your method there, and then open another one. Okay, so that's all for today. I will see you in another video. If you are watching this video on YouTube, you can subscribe to the channel, of course. And if you are watching this video on my website, you can sign up to my newsletter at the bottom of the page. I hope you have a great day.